building a business is very, very hard. We have to do things that we don't enjoy. We have to do things that we find icky, things that leave us very confused. And often when we look at that to-do list that just keeps on growing and growing and growing, we often feel very, very overwhelmed. I found a solution in video games of all things. Yes. And I call it the put the player first framework. Let's take a look. In many of my favorite video games like Diablo 3, Diablo 4, Diablo 2, pretty much the entire Diablo series, as well as Dungeons and Dragons, you start the game with a hero. Now the hero is not just living in an ordinary world, right? They are surrounded by monsters on all sides. And these monsters, they really, really mess up the hero's world. They break it apart. What the hero wants to do is they want to get out of this broken world, but they're not able to. They yearn for paradise. They want to go there. They want to go to this place where these monsters are not there, but they're just not powerful enough. And one day they meet a guide. Now this guide is no ordinary guide. You know, they have some sort of a superpower that sets them apart from everybody else on this realm. This guide is, is, has dedicated their life to fighting off some sort of a big bad that is driving all of these monsters and making the hero feel miserable. What the guide says is, yo, don't you worry, I got you. All you got to do is do these quests. And the guide prescribes a series of quests. The guide continues to say, if you do these quests, you will be able to leave your broken world behind and reach paradise. Pretty cool. So the hero agrees. And what the guide does is the guide starts to create different weapons for the hero. And each weapon is customized for a specific monster. It is designed to defeat one particular monster. The hero says, awesome, takes this weapon and fights off the monster and defeats it with the guide's help. And when the hero defeats the monster, they get loot and level up as well. That was the first quest. So the hero, becoming all happy, and more powerful, goes on and finishes off all the quests. When they're done with these quests, they reach paradise. And you see, this is how a game of Dungeons and Dragons or, or Diablo or any of my role playing games and adventure games work like. But the beautiful thing is this works for business as well. Here's how it goes. The beginning, you have a hero, except in this situation, the hero is not you. Your hero is your customer. Now, your customer has a bunch of different problems, that is monsters, that are making them absolutely miserable. They're trying to solve these problems, but they're not able to. What they want to do is reach a place where they don't have any problems. That is paradise. One day, they meet you. This could be you, your business, your brand, whatever. And you have some sort of a superpower, some sort of a differentiator, if you will. You also have a story something that sets you apart in a commoditized market. What you tell your hero, that is your customer is, here's a step-by-step -step plan that you can use to solve all of your problems and reach paradise, a place where you have no problems. The hero agrees and what you do is you create weapons. Weapons are products, services, experiences, networks, mindsets, worldviews, whatever your customer needs to solve their problem. Your customer would then use this weapon, that is whatever you've created, to defeat that monster or to solve their problem. And when they do that, they get loot and level up. Loot is essentially external rewards. Think of it like money, email addresses, phone numbers, network, uh, anything that is external to your customer that they find valuable. And level up becomes an internal transformation where they're feeling more confident. Perhaps they're feeling calmer. They're more relaxed. They are less stressed. All of these things help. And when they finish all the steps of your recommended process, boom, they reach paradise because they, by following these quests, has solved all of their problems. And now they're in a place where there are no other problems for them. There you have it. This is the essence of the put the player first framework. It's a beautiful framework. I love it. I designed it myself. Uh -huh. But beyond that, it is a very simple mental model that you can use as a scaffolding to build any sort of a business. Personally, I help my coaching clients use this to build up their own personality and authority based business. This model also makes many, many tasks of marketing and business building much, much easier. Want to create content? No problem. 
This has the answers. Want to figure out what to speak to your customers about? No problem. This model has all the answers. Want to figure out, hey, what should I do next? No problem. This model has all the answers. If you want to learn more about this, make sure you check out the link in the description below. With that, it's Arvind saying over and out.